Let's move on then to the investigations for infertility. When you come to an infertility clinic, you, what do you expect from the clinic and what would be done for the infertile couple? The first thing would be a routine gynecological evaluation of the female partner to know from her history if there are any significant contributory factors which could be responsible for the infertile state. They would also have to undergo some fertility tests before a diagnosis can be made. The most important test today for the female partner is the estimation of her ovarian function and egg reserve. Remember for this you have a simple test in the form of a serum anti-mullerian hormone or AMH estimation which is done in practically every pathology lab in the country. Very easy to do, can be done at any time of the menstrual cycle and easy to interpret. If you have a level between 2 and 6, it indicates good fertility potential, it indicates you have a good amount of time on your side. Treatment may not be very urgent but you would need some kind of assistance to get pregnant. Pregnancy rates with IUI or IVF or any of the fertility treatments would be quite good for you. If however your levels are less than 2, even if you are very young, it indicates a reduced egg reserve, it necessitates urgent treatment. It implies that time is running out, your ovarian reserve has gone down, you do not have too much time on your hands. It is important that you seek aggressive fertility treatment, often IVF with high doses of injections and gonadotropins to make sure that you can have your own biological child. Also, if these patients are still delaying having a fertility treatment, they could begin taking supplements of DHEA, uh, 25 milligrams three times a day or 75 milligrams per day for two to three months before embarking on fertility treatment. Other hormonal tests which would be advised to you by the fertility clinic would be an estimation of serum prolactin and thyroid function. In the good old days, we used to do serum FSH and LH estimation on the second day of a natural period, again to estimate the egg reserve. In addition, of course, the gynecologist at the clinic would perform a simple transvaginal ultrasound which would help in diagnosing practically most of the fertility problems which exist in an infertile uh, patient. This would include endometriosis, you can see classical chocolate cysts on ultrasound which could be confirmed on 3D ultrasound or color Doppler ultrasound, polycystic ovaries which, which has a very typical appearance on transvaginal ultrasound, the presence of fibroids, the presence of a congenital uterine septum which is a partition in the uterus, polyps and other growths which might help the doctor to decide whether you need an operative laparoscopy or hysteroscopy. Please remember that all patients do not need a routine laparoscopy if there is infertility. We have to make sure that there is some pelvic pathology like a polyp or a septum or a chocolate cyst which needs to be excised by a simple laparoscopic surgery. Just for testing the fallopian tubes, you do not have to perform a laparoscopy. There is a simple test called the hysterosalpingography, wherein you walk into a radiology clinic just after you have completed your menstruation. They will inject a radio opaque dye through the cervix into the uterus, which will then pass on into the fallopian tubes. X-rays are taken to establish whether the fallopian tubes are patent or whether they are blocked. If this shows any pathology, then maybe your gynecologist would advise an operative laparoscopy to either rectify the tubal problem or as I shall subsequently discuss, remove the tube which is infected so as to enhance your chances of IVF success.